welcome to Southern Girl Knits, episode 24, I think. I think that's right. <laughs> I'm Tish. Um, welcome back. And if you're new, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, last week when I left you, I told you that we had um, Will's National Junior Honor Society program. And that was last night. So my boy is in the National Junior Honor Society. I'm so very proud of him. And it's not just that normal proud mom. Will has uh, was diagnosed with severe ADHD when he was very young, uh, which it was a struggle. It was a battle. And finding the right medicine, finding the right doctor, finding the right teachers that, that knew how to help him and and deal with him and cope with him and so it's it's been a struggle and so it's kind of one of those times where you just go okay it was all worth it <laughs> all the fighting all the everything everything was worth it so yeah it was a big night for us and we got to go to dinner and you know it was a good night and I have pictures for you guys as well as some videos and I will tack those on at the end so that if you don't want to see them, you don't have to. <laughs> it won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> so let's talk about some knitting stuff. I'm really super excited because we, um, you know that I am a board member on the Arkansas Fiber Fest. It used to be the Arkansas Fiber Arts Extravaganza. Um, still the same group of people, still the same festival. We just did some kind of rebranding. So, um, we are opening registration May 16th. Yay! So, um, you really kind of want to register that day because <laughs> a lot of the classes will fill up. Our keynote speaker and main teacher is Elizabeth Green Musselman. Uh, she's got the Dark Matter Knits podcast. She's also published, um, Kung Fu Knits and... Gosh, she's done so much, it's it's too hard to name everything that she's done. She's amazing. She's a wonderful person. She's an amazing teacher. We are super, super excited to have her this year. Um, she's teaching a lot of amazing classes, so grab those classes now. <laughs> I do not suggest waiting <laughs> to register. Um, the event takes place September, let's see if I wrote this down. I did. September 17th through the 19th is registration. I'm oh, sorry. That's the event. Is September 17th through the 19th. It's a Thursday through Saturday. Next year, we're going to change it to um, a Friday through Sunday. So, um, but this year, we're going to keep the way we have been doing it for the past nine years, I believe. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Get on there, it's arfiberfest.com and register, get some great classes. We have awesome teachers this year. We've got everything, we've got crochet, we've got knitting, we've got, I think, lucette, we've got weaving, spinning, we've got it all. <laughs> and we've got some amazing vendors um, that'll all be on the website for you to check out. So go check it out. So, all right, let's move on to other things. What have I been knitting on? So I got some of my mojo back. And, um, of course it's only been a week since I saw you guys, so there's stuff to show you, but maybe not as much progress as I would like. Um, I told you I wasn't going to show you the Henslow. Um, I remember I started on the edging and I thought it would be too hard to show, but, um, it's, I'm using, it's the knitted on edging. Actually, they've got a little diagram of it here, the way the edging is done. So you see that it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I'm on that part. I'm on the end. I'm on the last section. And so I'm using a double point instead of the other end of my circular, thick circular needle because it's just much easier to do. And it's a Pico edge. Let's see if I can find. It's going to be awkward to show, but I want to show because it's actually coming out really nicely. So just this from here down is the edge and it's going to go, yeah, it's going to go this way because this is the lace portion. So the Pico edge is kind of, you can just see the beginning of it. 
but it's coming along and it's going to be very, very lovely. I can't wait to get it done. And it's, it's nice and simple. It's a, it's like four, four rows, just back and forth knitting together. So not difficult, not hard to remember. Um, you have to pay a little bit of attention, but not much. So it's okay. TV knitting, not great TV knitting, but it's okay. TV knitting. <laughs> Speaking of TV knitting, I did get some work done. Oh, and that was, I'm so sorry. That was out of the Mad Tosh uh, Merino Light in the Badlands colorway, and I'm knitting those on my Chagu size four. Yeah, and the pattern is Henslow. Let me see. I know I'll say her name wrong. I know it's Beth, and I always want to say Klein, but it's not. Oh, here it is. It's Kling, K-L-N-G. And that's a picture of the beautiful. I can't wait to get this done. I'm so excited. Like, I'm really excited about this. Let me put this back in the bag now before I forget about it because I will. And this guy is living in my front range bag. So, now, tubby socks. The socks that never end. I say that with every pair of socks that I'm knitting for a boy, right? Um, last time you saw them, I had turned the heel. I did the fish lips kiss heel. And going down the foot. So it doesn't look too much different from you, but I'm getting there. And I love, I love the patterning on this yarn. It's great. This is that um, Premier yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's the Wool Free Sock. And the colorway is, oh, Grand Canyon. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't remember that. But you can get this at Hobby Lobby, and it's tiny, tiny yarn, and it's super, super soft. It's actually really nice to knit with, um, and the other sock has the same amount of progress, so I won't torture you with that. And I'm knitting those on my size zero carbons. Yeah, these are on my carbons that I do like. Um, there's a discussion going on on the thread in our group, which if you haven't joined, feel free to join. Um, about, you know, what circular needles are best for your, for your sock, for your Magic Loop socks. And, you know, a lot of people chimed in and said, you know, I like this one, I like this one. And really, it's such a, a personal decision in the sense that everybody enjoys a different type of needle. Like, there's some people that only want it with wood. Um, because that feels better in their hands. There's some people that like the carbons because they're lighter. There's some people that like the metal needles. Um, you know, me, I'm always on the hunt for a good needle. <laughs> I will, I, I, I like the Addy um, Sock Rockets, which, do I have anything on the Addy Sock Rockets right now? I don't believe I do. Um, but I do like those. Those are, I've enjoyed those needles. Um, I'll show you this project next because I have, the Nova Platinas that I recently bought when I got the um, my cool Little Prince Sockway colorway. I got the Nova Platinas to put those on. And I really like these. See how sharp they are? They're uber sharp, which that's my preference. I like a sharp tip. I really do. It makes a difference for me in my knitting. Um, so these are my Little Prince socks. And I decided to go ahead, since I, when I saw you last, I had knit the cuff and I was trying to decide when to turn the heel. I think I ended up knitting probably another half inch. And then I went ahead and turned the heel on those. So I'm working down the, the foot of the sock now. And I love, I love how they're coming out. They make me so happy. And I turned the sock on both, turn the sock. <laughs> Let's try that again. I turned the heel on both these little guys. Let's see. Since I saw you last, cause you know, I do them at the same time. So they're always gonna be relatively in the same spot. And I did the fish lips heel, kiss heel on both of them because yeah, can't say enough on that. Um, speaking of which, uh, the, let's see, I wrote the names down. Um, DCA family and JAS330. Um, I didn't hear back from either of you guys, so I'm assuming that means you want the pattern. So um, 
GCA Knitter, yours will be sent to you um, by uh, Leslie and JAS330, I'll send you yours today. I just wanted to make sure I didn't send it and then find out you didn't need it, so I held off on that. And so, yeah, I'm sending you guys, I will send that today. And what else have I been knitting on? Hmm, oh, I worked on my son's hat. I'm not sure how far along this was last time I saw you guys, or you know what, last time I talked about this project, rather. I can't remember. I remember telling you that I wanted to go and get more yarn to do the red stripe, and I did that. And um, so it's coming along swimmingly. And I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to ask him today because I was going to do it as a slouchy hat, the kind that comes back here, but I'm not sure if that's what he wants. So if he wants a regular cap, you know, that covers his ears, then I will go ahead and start the decreases now. But if he wants it to be slouchy, then I'm just going to keep on knitting on it. And it's fun because it's a knit one for a one. So it's just interesting enough that it's not dull, but it's not overwhelmingly, you know, pattern heavy where you just can't concentrate on it. And it's not too simple where you get bored with it. <laughs> it's that nice in between mix of things, you know, so I've had enough coffee today. I've moved on to water. Woohoo! Y'all never see me move on. To you always see me in the mornings. Usually I record in the mornings, but um, it was a busy day today. I had to go run errands. I had a million things to do out and about in town, and I was trying to beat the rain, and now I'm looking outside, and it's blue skies, and I don't think it's going to rain. So all that running around went crazy for nothing. So. <laughs> oh, well, either way, I got all my errands ran, so yay! And before the kids got home. Um, so let's see. What am I reading? I'm like zooming through things today. Yeah, see, that's what happens when I have my coffee. You never see me at this point when I've had all my coffee and I'm like, not eating nothing. <laughs> so I found a book on Kindle that I don't know if, if you have a Kindle, if you're an e-reader or a regular book reader. Um, but when you have the the Kindle, this one has the ads, and so it will give you ads for books, and a lot of them are usually like on sale, and they had this one on sale for $1.99, and so I snatched it up, and it's called The Forgotten Seamstress by Liz Trino, Trino, T-R-E-N-O-W, and it was one of those where I was like, hmm, it's $1.99, you know, loving it. Like, score. So stinking excited about this book. I love it. It takes place, it's actually three different eras that it takes place in, but it's the same story, and she's weaving the story right now, and I guess, I mean, I'm at the beginning of the book, so I can see where she's, she's, She's more preparing the weave. The weaving together hasn't started yet, but I think when she does, it's going to be amazing because you can see how they're going to interconnect at some point. And yeah, so it's very good. I, it's, I like it when I get a good surprise book like that because it's cheap and it's like, woohoo. <laughs> they're building our new library in town so I'm really excited about them getting done with it I think it's going to be done this year I'm not really sure we're getting a really nice library I live in a relatively small town um the town itself is really small there's a lot of people here because we're a bedroom community for Little Rock which a bedroom community is um People live here, but they work in Little Rock. <laughs> We're just an, far enough away that we don't have any connection with the big city, but it's close enough that we can work there and do all of our shopping there. So it's it, that's what a bedroom community is, if you're not familiar with that term. So the city itself isn't very large, but it's there's a lot of people because we've got a crap ton of schools. <laughs> and they're building us a new library for the city, which is really, really nice because it's supposed to have... Um, a coffee shop in it. Yay! And the whole point of that story was to say that I will start going to the library. I'm really bad about not going to the library. I'm terrible. I should go to the library and I don't. I'm just, I'm lazy. I just buy books. 
But when this new one gets done, I am going to go. I promised my husband. I was like, I'm really going to go, I swear. Because they have the program where you can rent, um, check out the books. But I think they put them on your, your Kindle. Don't know. Not familiar with the process because I don't use it yet. But I will. Because, yeah. It's a free service. Why not use it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that that's all I have for you guys today. I like zoom through. This is me on coffee. <laughs> Short episode this week. Um, I got some knitting done, but as usual, I kind of spread my knitting out. So it's kind of like I got a little bit done on every project. So I don't know. Who knows what I'll have done. Maybe I'll have something done for you next week. I'm kind of having that itching that I get when I need to get a project, a project off my needles. I'm starting to get that. Got to get something done. Got to get something done. So I'm liable to start kind of honing in and focusing on one project so that I'll get something off my needles. It makes me feel better because then I don't feel as guilty when I cast something new on. <laughs> so yeah, but that's all I have for you guys this week. I'm going to put the pictures and videos of Will's induction at the end. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next week. So bye bye guys. And don't forget Always be awesome. Savannah Motto, Amy Matthews, William McAllister, Erica Grace McEwen, Rachel McGee, <laughs> Alex Gold, the, the High Purposes of the National Junior Honor Society, the National Junior Honor Society, to which I have been selected, to which I have been selected, I will be true, I will be true, to the principles for which it stands, to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. High standards of. High standards of.